Welcome back everybody to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to handle or work with duplicate data in your pandas datasets. The first thing we have done is we have imported pandas and numpy. Next we created a data frame that we're going to use in several of our examples. Our data frame has three columns a, b, and c and ten rows zero through nine. All of the rows are duplicates except for row 2 and row 6. So for example, we have two A1As, three C3Cs, and three E5Es. Now, one of the first things you might like to do is to check your data for any duplicates. One way to do that is to use any, and any will return true or false based on the criteria, the criteria in this case being duplicates. So what we've done is we have referenced our data frame, column A. Then we use dot duplicated. And we put all of that inside the any round brackets. We run it, we get true, because there are duplicates in column A. If you'd like to see the help screen for any, here is a quick look. Here we have created a data frame with no duplicates. When we use duplicated with any in this case, you can see we correctly get false. Next, let's go over how to check a column for duplicates. We're going to go ahead and use this data frame here, and we want to check column A for duplicates and get back trues and falses. So let's run it. And you can see we get back our trues and falses. Before we go over that output, Let's bring up the help screen for duplicated. Now notice that the keep argument defaults to first. And what that does is it marks duplicates as true except for the first occurrence. If you wanted to change that, you could change it to last or false, where last marks duplicates as true except for the last occurrence, and false marks all duplicates as true. So as we mentioned, the keep defaults to first. So let's quickly go over that output. The first occurrence of A is not considered a duplicate, so that would be false. The second is, so that would be true. There's only one occurrence of B, so that would be false. As we mentioned, the first occurrence of anything is not considered a duplicate, so the first occurrence of C is false. The second and third are true and true. There's only one D, so that would be false. First occurrence of E is false, and the second and third occurrences of E are considered duplicates and those two would be true and true. Okay, let's move on to our next example where we want to identify rows that are duplicates where everything in the row is the same. We're going to go ahead and use this data frame here and what we've done is we have created a copy of our original data frame and then added a column, column D, that shows us trues and falses indicating whether those are duplicates or not. Now just like before, let's go ahead and look at the help screen for duplicated. Before we used it on the series, in this case we've used it on the data frame. And you can see it's pretty much the same. And the keep argument is also pretty much the same. You can use first, which is the default, last, or false. Now remember, for the first, that marks duplicates as true except for the first occurrence. And that's what we get here. So let's quickly go over this. The first occurrence, that's not considered a duplicate, so that's false, A1A. The second time it encounters A1A, that's considered a duplicate, that's true. Now notice that there's only one B2B and one D4D. Those are both false. Now the first time it encounters C3C and E5E, those are false. But then the second and third times it encounters C3C, and E5E, those are considered duplicates, and you can see those are true and true. So this example is very similar to our previous example with the series. However, in this case, we've used the data frame, and we've just gone ahead and added the column to the data frame. Let's go over an example of how you can drop duplicate rows. To do that, you can reference your data frame, dot drop duplicates. Let's go ahead and pull up the help screen for drop duplicates. You'll notice that the description says it returns the data frame with duplicate rows removed. 
Also notice that the keep argument is set to the default of first. If you'd like to change that, you can change it to last or false. So we've gone ahead and kept that default the same. We didn't change any of the arguments. And you'll notice that we get this output here. So let's go back up here. And this output is basically this output with all of the trues removed or dropped. So we can see that the trues are at 1, 4, 5, 8, and 9. And you'll see that 1, 4, 5, 8, and 9 have been dropped or removed from this data frame. Moving on. Another thing you might like to do that's related to duplicates is to get the counts and show the duplicates for columns. Now one way to do that is to reference your data frame, put in your column, and then use dot value counts. So let's go ahead and run this. Here we have our data frame that we've used, and we referenced column A. And for that data frame column A, we get the counts of the elements below. So in column A, there are three C's, three E's, two A's, one B, and one D. Now if you only wanted to see the duplicates and not count the first, what you could do is just put in minus one. And we get back the expected results. There are no duplicates of B and D. Those are only in the data frame once. Here and here. If we're not counting the first occurrence of C and E, the duplicates are here and here two times for E, here and here two times. The first occurrence of A is here, and there's only one duplicate here. We get a count of one. Now, let's say you only wanted to drop duplicates from a specific column or columns. In this example, we've gone ahead and used our original data frame. However, we've added a column D with a range of numbers 0 through 9. Now notice that columns A through C have duplicates. So here we have A1A, A1A. Here we have 3C3Cs, and here we have 3E5Es. So that's just an example to show you that if you're only considering columns A, B, and C, you have some duplicates. Now, when you test this data frame for duplicates, you'll notice you get back all falses. And that is because we have added column D, which now makes every row unique. However, since we know there are duplicates in columns A, B, and C, let's say that we wanted to treat those rows as duplicates and then drop them. One way you can do that is to reference your data frame, dot drop duplicates. And then we're going to put in our subset to consider here. So we just want to consider columns A, B, and C. So let's go ahead and run it. So this was our original data frame. And just like before, very quickly, let's show the help screen for drop duplicates. So you'll see we've gone ahead and put in the subset and the keep defaults to first. So we use this data frame, we put in our subset, only considering columns A, B, and C, and we want to drop any duplicate after the first one. So it should drop row one, and you can see row one has been dropped. It should drop rows four and five, those are gone, and rows eight and nine, and those are gone as well. So in that example, we just wanted to show you that you can use a subset to determine which rows you want to drop. Okay, moving on. In this example, we're going to go over how to drop all duplicates. We're going to go ahead and use this data frame here. And to drop all the duplicates, we can reference the data frame, dot drop duplicates, and then for the keep argument, we put in equals false. So you'll see. The only rows in this data frame that have no duplicates whatsoever are rows 2 and 8, which are BB2 and EE5. You can see that these two are duplicates, these two are duplicates, and these three are duplicates, leaving us only with row 2 and 8, and that's what we get back here. Next, another topic related to duplicates are unique elements.
we're going to go ahead and use this data frame here. And let's say that you wanted to find only the unique elements in column A. One way to do that is to reference your data frame, column A, or whatever column you want to reference, then use dot unique. And in this case, we've wrapped this in a list to give us a nice clean output. And you can see when we run it, we get back the unique elements in column A, which are A, B, C, D, and E. Next, let's say that you wanted to group all duplicates together using group by. We're going to use this data frame here. And what we want to do is to only consider columns A and B. And we want to group the duplicates in column A. And then for column B, give us the subtotals for the duplicates in column A. So to do that, we reference our data frame. As we mentioned, we're only going to use columns A and B. And we put those in double square brackets. Then we use dot group by. Which column do we want to group by? We want to group by column A. So that'll put the A's together and sum 1 and 1. The C's together, sum 3, 3, and 3. And the E's together and sum 5, 5, and 5. Okay, so we use dot group by column A. Then we use sum. And to give us a nice clean output, we've gone ahead and reset the index. Let's run it. And you can see we get our output here, where all of the duplicates have been grouped for A, and B is the sum of those duplicate elements. Now real quick, if you don't put in that reset index, your output will look like that. Okay, that's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.